So I say three nil, just about. I suppose the ideal scoreline from a from a first leg in a European tie. Yeah, the result is really good, and especially after a first half where we didn't play well, far from it, is a really good result. It's not over. It's still dangerous, but it's a good result. What was your message at half-time? Because there seemed to be more control in the, in the second half and domination. My, my first message was: It's impossible to play to play football high level without concentration, without intensity. That's the first message. After that, I went through a couple of uh, tactical details and I changed the team a little bit. But the most important thing was really the attitude because we start the game immediately with back passes to. A lonely striker to face Romero in one against one. We 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 start really bad. And what about Zlatan? What more can we say about him? His first hat trick for the club. Twenty three goals now. Yeah, yeah, so many hat tricks during his career. But the first for Manchester United. We know that is more difficult in England. We know we know clearly that uh, it's fantastic for him. But uh, the important thing is is the result. The important thing is that we we manage a clean sheet at home, which is important and scores three goals. Is a good advantage for us that now we, we, we can try to manage. But as far as you're concerned, it's not over. No, no, no. no. I had crazy experiences in in football. Uh, I was losing against Tottenham once, uh, three 0 at half time, and uh, we drew three three. And uh, I was winning. Uh, I won Real Madrid against Galatasaray. We won three 0 at home. And then we were losing 4-1 in, in Istanbul and in the limit until we scored the second goal. I, I went through so many crazy experiences that I believe in, in everything. So we have to go there and defend well, don't concede goals um, and try to score a goal that, that would put them in a, in a very difficult situation. Zlatan, you scored many hat-tricks in your career. That's your first for Manchester United. How does that feel? Feels good. Feels good. I think most important was to bring bring a good result with us for the for the second for the second leg and uh, and uh, yeah we did a we did an okay game today. I, I think we can do more, but we created good chances and I get to score the three goals, which which is also important. So thanks to the teammates, it goes good. Keep up a terrific record you've got against Saint Etienne from your days with PSG. But like you say, important to also keep a clean sheet, no way goal conceded. Exactly. So a good result because I know how difficult it is to, to play over there. And uh, they have a fantastic crowd, fantastic support. And uh, the stadium is, is very nice. So the guys will see it when we come there. So, so it was important today to get a good result. You know about Santetian very well, but for many English observers, we didn't know a lot about the team. They were impressive tonight. No, no, it's a good team. They always make it difficult for, for every team they play against. And when I was in PSG, same thing. So they did good. They did good. I, I think the couple of players is new, a couple of players left. So, But it's a good team. Your three goals, the first, a free kick, a bit fortuitous, a bit lucky perhaps that it got through and Rufier had dived the wrong way? I think I wanted to put under the wall and then, yeah, it, it went between the legs or something. I haven't seen the replay, but the important thing is it went in, so that is what counts. Martial and Rashford both terrific, both playing with plenty of pace. Marcus, when he came on, lovely ball across, uh, tap in for you for your second goal. As a striker, you love those goals. I mean, the simple goals is always the the best one. So they did. I think everybody did a good game. I mean, we did an okay game, collective, individual. Someone did more than the other one. So, but if you talk about Martial and Rashford, they did good. One came in good and one played a good game from the start. And you got to score your hat trick in front of the Stratford End, where the most vocal, most passionate United fans are housed. So, how was that? I think whatever side you score, it's, it's fantastic because the atmosphere is amazing and so hopefully we can keep on. We have many games to play, so hopefully I can also keep on. Thanks, Latan. Thank you. How was it playing against your brother? Something magic. Uh, I, just can't, I just couldn't believe it when I, when I saw him. He start laughing and say, like, just enjoy the moment, you know. <laughs> it's happy, it doesn't happen like every day, so I just enjoyed it. A lot. I'm sure the result for your mother would have been better as a draw, but uh, United got a fantastic victory. How good a position are you in in this tie now? No, it's good because we wanted we wanted to win, we wanted to score goals, and we did. So it will 
be easier for us in like the the next game. But you know, the game is not finished. We have to finish it the uh, um, Saint Etienne. They were very good tonight, weren't they? The opposition and perhaps unlucky to be on the wrong end of a three 0 scoreline. Yeah, the, well, the first half wasn't the best half we we made so far. So, but the second half we we came back much better. We score the two goals, so the result is here. So we're happy with that. At one nil, you had a great chance with a header which came back off the bar. Do you think you should have scored it? <laughs> well, every, everyone, I mean, me, I, I wanted to score. Then after I didn't score, it touched the crossbar, like the the chances that the chances I have. And um, one point, like I don't know what's going on here, but I don't know what is. Maybe I don't know something's going on. But so far, I've been touching the crossbar so a, a lot. So I hope next time you will get in. Yeah, the crossbar, the post. I think you've hit the word more woodwork more than any other player this season. It, it's those fine margins in football, isn't it? I think in how many months now? Maybe like eight, nine months. No, eight months. I touched the crossbar more than four years in Juventus, <laughs> so it's a bit weird. But no, I'm happy. I'm I'm still happy. Now. Hopefully next time you really, really uh, went in. But the result is here, so I'm happy with that. Absolutely, yes. Latam with a hat trick, um, finishing off with that penalty in front of Stratford End. A terrific performance by the big man. Obviously, that's the big player. That's what we want from them. And uh, he can like he looks like he loves uh, Saint Etienne because he's been scoring a lot against Saint Etienne. So hopefully we score again. And he will get better. I don't know if he will. The manager will know, so if he will play, he will get rest. But we, we love the, the Ibrahimovic that we, we see today. But possibly the man of the match, fellow Frenchman Anthony Martial, thought he was terrific throughout, really attacked with pace and caused all sorts of problems. No, Anthony was, like, as you can see, he was very dangerous today. Uh, been playing very well so far, he helps the team a lot. So that's what we need as well from him. Everyone. Everyone knows his, his capacity, what he can do, and when he's confident like this, you know nobody can stop him. So the team's going, the team is doing well for the moment. So we want to, to keep it up like that. And just finally, three 0 is a is a great scoreline to take into a second leg of a European tie, isn't it? Yeah, like I said, we wanted to win and score goals. A few goals, I think, is is good for the for the second leg. But you have to keep focus and play there, play there and win there as well. Cheers, Paul. Thank you.